The internet used to be a very terrible place. Okay, well, nothing has really changed. But until about 20 years ago, the internet was an absolute garbage pile of inexplicable content. Okay, well, nothing's really changed. But back in the 90s to the 2000s, websites on the internet were loaded with totally useless bloat to catch your eye and steal your attention, serving no purpose beyond acting as window dressing to generate more and more clicks. Okay, well, nothing has really changed. Look, the point I'm trying to make to give all you little kitties out there watching right now a little history lesson is that about until 2004, the internet lived in an era we now retroactively call Web 1.0, as opposed to the era that we're in now, which is Web 2.0. Web 2.0 is the easier of the two to explain on the surface because, well, look at it. Here, here it is. You're watching this video right now through a Web 2.0 medium. Web 2.0 design and philosophy represents websites and apps with a focus on collaboration through social media, user-generated content, virtual communities, unified design standards, and infinite growth potential. To keep it simple for all you little youngins out there who don't even know that there was a time where you could watch movies on your computer without needing an inner connection at all, and that was the standard because of physical media, Web 2.0 cleaned up the World Wide Web. It took the one-man army style approach of creating personal websites and writing articles and threw that power to the masses. It was a time when the rise of websites like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Wikipedia solidified a certain look and feel to the internet and created standardized creation tool sets to let users be the ones to control the flow of information and entertainment found therein. This made a lot of people very very angry and has widely been regarded as a bad move, but we're stuck with it nonetheless. But some of you bright-eyed, shiny orphans out there are probably saying, am I gonna get some new parents for Christmas? And the answer to that is no. But some of you out there who are asking different questions might be asking, well then, what was Web 1.0 like? Web 1.0 was the wild west of the internet. People kind of just literally made whatever the fuck they could with the tools available because it was exciting to just make shit back then. You didn't have the drives for money or content or algorithms or popularity or numbers or likes. It wasn't really a thing. It was more just, I made a thing to make a thing. Very often they did it to serve a specific purpose they had in mind and wanted to see on the internet, rather than trying to create something that would be an aggregate of everything. Back in the day, you'd have a Pokemon fandom website, a baking website, a skydiving website, a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure English translation website, a tickling fetish website, a dolphin smuggling website, and they'd all have a fair bit of traffic based on the popularity of their specific purpose. But these days, everyone just makes a subreddit because, well, why wouldn't you? A subreddit will almost always get infinitely more traffic than a standalone website and costs you absolutely nothing to make and maintain. I mean, in terms of good business sense, I should not bother making a website to host my videos at all because YouTube lets me do it for free and exposes me to millions of people I'd ordinarily never have watching my stuff. And I absolutely love exposing myself. Old school video funny people like the angry video game nerd and Tourette's guy jumped ship years ago, and now when you Google them, their first results are for their YouTube channels, while their personal websites, which is how I personally found both of them back in middle school, are now buried way down deep in the Google search results. Here's a picture of weather.com right now. This is what nearly every news website on the internet looks like these days, and here's what it looked like in 1996. Are you starting to get the picture now? Some of us old fogies are often nostalgic for times like this, when things were rough and duct taped together and often intentionally annoying, which is how I stumbled upon this golden gem of a website called Make Front End Shit Again. Dot party. It's a collection of websites. Some are ironic modern shit posting, and others are authentic time capsule collections that are built to exist, I guess. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at some of them? Let's go. Okay. All right. The first website that we're going to look at is opera.com slash GX. 
wait, okay, this looks, this looks kind of normal. And that's because it is. Opera GX is the sponsor of today's video. And in fact, I'm going to be looking at all of these funky websites using Opera GX for this entire video. Right now, I'm going to say something to you that's very shocking. People still play video games. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. I know. But people still play video games despite the fact that they're old as hell. The first home video game console was invented in 1972. People still mess around with these ancient toys. Well, if you're going to play with the senior citizens like I do, you're going to at least do it right. And you're going to do it with Opera GX as your web browser. After all, Opera GX has the game corner built right into the browser, so you can check out all of the newest, coolest games like Bar Hop, which seems to be just DUI Frogger. Or you can watch GX video game videos about video games, such as Poggers Woman at the Next Fest. And don't forget, you can even scroll through here and find iconic video game songs like, um, Guy with Mask and Gun and Power in the Union from Wasteland 3, everyone's favorite game soundtrack. Now, don't let that stop you from thinking that it's just for gaming. It is made for gaming, but you can customize it to be made for whatever kind of internet browsing you want. And that's going to be thanks to the incredible power of mods that they have recently added here. You can customize your browser sounds, your wallpaper, you got a theme, you got keyboard sounds. And hey, check this out. I've even got this sweet Squid Sisters pack from Splatoon, so now I can be bombarded by their under the sea screams 24 hours a day. Everything you're about to hear is coming straight from the browser. But you can tweak mod packs to your liking too. I personally like to set my background music to a constant infinite loop of the Max Payne violin theme. So as I'm browsing Opera GX, I can remember that my wife is dead and never coming back. You can even load in a bunch of your favorite apps directly into the sidebar, so you can go ahead and jump into social media and have a pointless, embarrassing argument with just one click of a button. Go ahead and throw Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Discord, whatever you like in there. I made sure to turn all of them on so that every waking second of my day will be filled with notifications for things that I really don't care about. Thanks, Internet! If you want to be a non-stop forever gamer and need a good excuse to not see the sun for a week, Opera GX is perfect for you. With all the tools and customization features any digital junkie could ask for, there's never been a better time to start using Opera GX. Download Opera GX using my link in the description and learn what browsing Web 3.0 might look like when it inevitably rolls around. You can't stop the future, but you can prepare yourself to join the masses. And you better do it quick with my link in the description. Opera GX the browser that hits hard and keeps on running. All right, here's the website. It's make front end shit again. The front end being what the user sees on a website and the back end is, of course, all the fucking, like, super secret... Right click is disabled. I can't look at your fucking super secret source code? Why don't you suck my super secret cock? It's hidden just below frame. I'm already frustrated. But that's okay. What I am impressed with this website, though, what I am impressed with this website, though, is that it's translated into a bunch of languages. So I'm, I'm of course, in speaking American mode, the only correct language. But we've got, like, fucking South Korea. Oh, it turned them. This must be the South Korean National Anthem. Yep. Definitely the South Korean national anthem. Okay, so this, I'm gonna leave this on because this is how browsing it, not the Korean, I'm gonna turn the Korean off. This is, fuck me. This is how browsing the internet used to be. Yeah, I, everyone knows the jokes about the fucking dance baby gif and the little like annoying constant movement and fucking cursors and shit. But some people forget that websites would just play music. You didn't get to choose it, and you often weren't given the courtesy of a button to pause it. You were just fucked. You had to listen to whatever the listener chose to make you listen to. 
All right, you listening? It was great. It was fucking magic. I miss it every day. Okay, so we're gonna scroll down. A little under constructions, that's cute, remember? Oh, I love this. All right. Remember FTP, blank, da 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 So I, I, I got about here. I got about here in my own travels. This big giant list. I looked at like two of these and I recognized like three of them, which fucking terrifies me. I am so ancient that occasionally I cough out dust and you could sell it to a museum. And they would say, wow, we don't have any records from that historical period. But what we do have records of is these really terrible websites conglomerated on make front end shit again dot party. I'm gonna go through all of them. I'm gonna talk about all of them. So let's get started. That's the finger.com. It is. All right, I had to mute the music, otherwise it was gonna play in the background of every website, and if they have music, I wanna hear it. TinyTube.com, it's a tiny waste of my time because the internet is an ever-deleting archive. It's a forever burning library of Alexandria because websites just don't work no more. They got like Flash and old JavaScript and like shit that just doesn't work. There was probably something giggle worthy here. Now we'll never know. All we'll know is that in 2023, this domain probably expired and someone bought it and there's probably some ads here, but I've got an ad blocker on because I'm not a fucking idiot. Eelslap.com. Just a very quick Photoshop job, and this will look like something completely different and far more arousing. Trypap.com. Imagine your in-laws are helping you with a password. This is what they'd say. Please enter a password. Password. Don't come crying to me when you're hacked. It's the passive-aggressive password machine, so it's just a password raider that's, like, not funny. I could get the same result if I posted my password on Reddit. Republic des Mongues dot fra, or Republic des Mongues, or I don't speak French. That's a mango with. <laughs> okay. H hello, French users. Hello, French fan base that watches me, which I think is like 6% of my demographic. I have a question. The fuck is this? Weird or confusing.com. Okay? You can buy a chicken nugget keychain, you can buy a tortilla blanket, farting animals coloring book, instant. Okay, this is just fucking Spencer's gift knock off the website. This is just wrap in a box and have a slight giggle.org. This is just terrible Christmas gift that you think is gonna make everyone fucking hysterical, but they're gonna open it and go, uh, and then put it to the side. This is I'm not funny, someone else be funny for me.org. These are just bad. Having said that, I really want that tortilla blanket. It's not even a bad website. This website's fine. No, this is this is not even a bad website. Do these Amazon links work? Stomach fanny pack. There it is. Add to cart. Beesbeesbees.com. And yet, we lost yet another incredible relic to time. I can't imagine what incredible life-altering content was on beesbeesbees.com. But I should probably unironically buy it because I own half of that times three, which is 150% r33b.net. What was this made? Oh, look at that. Oh, fuck. I didn't. <laughs> I just wanted to look up what the website was. I didn't even know I could fucking do that. This guy's really going all out with fucking ASCII art. Oh, no one knows what ASCII art is anymore. And this is. 2003, shit, this website's been around for almost 20 years. This website was made before Futurama got canceled. And then renewed. And then canceled. And then renewed. Oh no. <laughs> I'm fucking worried. Everydaygym.com. Hustlin'. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hustlin'. More like everyday epilepsy. If you conveniently need to bite your tongue off and foam at the mouth, I have the website for you. CornDogOnCornDog.com
so I understand the, the the wood rubbing touching here, the fucking implication that it's two little nice young virile male corn dogs exploring what it means to go to summer camp together. But what does the mustard imply? Ninjaflex.com. <laughs> Oh, look at that! Oh, it's got Ninja subtitles! Ninja. If you if you do this rhythmically enough, you could recreate the Ninja Turtles theme by Vanilla Ice. Or we can all just remember the time one of the top Fortnite players in the world described the fact that his wife had tits. Ninja Flex. I has a bucket dot com. I has a bucket. No, they be stealing my bucket. You should have stolen a joke dictionary. ElectricBoogieWoogie.com Okay, so the, the yellows move through there, right? And then the, the red ones go there with the blue and then it changes to red. So I've been staring at this for about 20 minutes now and I've cut it all out thanks to editing. And I think that after careful study, I can firmly and confidently say I have no fucking idea what I'm looking at. Nullingthevoid.com If a void is made up of nothingness, then a void is made up of something. If a void is the absence of everything, then a void is also the presence of nothing. But what is nothingness? If a thing is annihilated, does it cease to exist, or does it exist in a state of nothingness? Nulling the Void is a website that exists because its creator discovered that she was filled with a deep feeling of immense satisfaction brought about by pressing a button on her computer over and over, and watching as the screen filled with explode I can what I am I am mashing every button on my keyboard try another boring 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 1 million lols.com <laughs> Okay someone I need someone in the comments to do me a really big favor particularly if you're good at counting I don't believe there's 1 million lols on the screen but there could be. I need someone to record themselves counting every single lull and put it on YouTube and link it in the fucking comments. Now, I won't watch it because that sounds really boring and miserable and I have a life, but you should feel proud knowing that you wasted your life. ASCII middle finger. This is a really, really roundabout performance art piece. One, 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 yeah, dot com. What the fuck? Go to Rupert Murdoch's MySpace to be my friend. This is a promising st Look at the fucking honkaroos on Arnold. I wish I had those tits either in my hands or on mine. Arnold Siller Moonnegger. Because Washington is Hollywood for ugly people. California. This makes Arnold as governor jokes. Oh my God. When did that happen? That was a long time ago. Arnold hasn't been the governor of California since 2007. And I want to believe this website's even older than that. I've seen a lot of content on the internet that often inspires me to create wonderful, deep, moving, emotional pieces, but I think Arnold in a bikini with rock and stars and stripes tits smashing Alex Trebek. I can click on shit. Holy plastic beefy. I have never seen this anime, but the amount of dollars that I would pay is in the thousands. RMS.sexy. We have found leaked production shots from the new Hobbit movie. Space Turtles.rocks. Never mind. Vape.horse. While well, vape is a really new thing, so I'm gonna assume this is an ironic one. This is just a regular website. This is just are these t-shirts? Can we buy engulfed? Yeah, these are, this is a t-shirt website. Why is this on there? Come on, do better. When you're scouring the web for absolute garbage bullshit, I don't want to buy relatively cool t-shirts. I want to look and wonder what the fuck humanity does. Because we don't, this isn't one of those things where people go, oh, the, the old internet used to be crazy. We're still stupid, but we used to just not care. Acrepnala.com Hoskandinis Germic Ikintilde Akrepnala.com There she is. You can cut her off for your scrapbook. Make her your phone wallpaper. And make sure to join her in a game of Hoverlore. Oh, fuck. We missed the concert by 11 years. Yo, guys, if you're looking to boardroom talent in Tim Lampe Istanbul at Denondrum, make sure to invite the dancing dogs. And I'm going to need to cancel Pink Floyd's incredible tour next year because this woman... 
What the fuck is her name? Ak Repnala needs to take over and dominate the music scene in the West. She's an underground act. Based on this website, she's also probably been dead for about 10 years. But that doesn't mean she can't perform. After all, haven't you seen modern Metallica? Do not press dot wes C. Fuck you. Fuck me. Originalhamster.yatmnd.com. So fun fact of me being an ancient crusty skeleton, the hamster dance, I think, was its own website, and then someone, I guess, remade it in YTMND.com, and I know that because I browsed YTMND.com as a big, spry, youthful lad all the fucking time, which is how I can say YTMND.com without dropping a beat. It doesn't even give me a song, it just gives me a fucking loop soundbite of the thing that caused my alcoholism. Internetfortheday.com. This is a really shitty day. Fingerfrenzy.now. Yeah, don't talk about it, because it doesn't exist. You're wasting your breath. Pointerpointer.com. Finding pointer, please hold still. Pointer, look. Is this gonna... Oh, that's fucking awesome. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This might be the best website on the internet. Okay, no, you're not... You, okay, front end shit again. You're not you're not allowed to show me the greatest idea for a website I've ever seen. I really, really hate that after this video is done recorded, I'm gonna spend probably the next 30 minutes just testing this whole thing out. You can't do that. I'm trying to be productive by being non-productive by productively wrapping my production around the production of these shittily produced websites, not producing fun for myself. It's gonna do it again, isn't it? This is fucking amazing. Who.com. Who? Hey. Who? Hey. Who? Oh shit, it's going back and forth from who and hey.com. Well, I have nothing funny to say about that. Can't not tweet this.com. Can't not tweet this. And my mouse is continually followed by a tweet button. Little do they know, I don't fucking play by the rules of the game, you dumb bitch. Corndog.io. Are we going to see more gay corndog sex? Because I do have a premium subscription to that on Patreon and OnlyFans. This is significantly less gay than I wanted. But still somehow gay enough? CSS to my HTML dot now dot sh or break my website and never speak of it again. Lingscars.com. Oh my god. Oh, it's Lingscars. It's not Lingscars. It's not pro professional skateboarder Ling Majing showing you the time that he fractured his ankle in half. It's Ling trying to sell you a car. Holy shit. Is this real? Can I buy one? The UK's craziest car leasing website. We'll get a we'll get a BMW. I heard M5s are really good. We'll get a BMW M5. Full list of price. Oh my god, I can just actually buy a fucking car. If you can't find the deal you're looking for, use the tools to request a bespoke car lease quote. Let's do that. First name. Big boy. Car buyer. Friendly name. Such as Dave Pete Susie Top Gun Nobby or as everyone likes to call me, Slickin' McDickin. Telephone number. I will only contact you by phone in an emergency. So you're telling me if the car dealership burns down, you're gonna call me first? Hey man, how's it going? I know you were looking for that BMW M5, but we're kind of experiencing a terrorist attack. Could you just call the police? I told you it was an emergency, I swear. You can trust me, I am Ling. Doing the doing the heroin addict twitch is really what gets me to just believe every word of your story. Do you get company car insurance? No, my boss is a real fucking cheapskate. Includes servicing, yes, with improperly spelled tires. I will ship this entire fucking truck back to Great Britain if I so require. I want only the finest quality of service from a man who looks like he's about to start World War III. Please tell me the ballpark you think this car should cost. I need to look inside your head. Why? Due to effort needed, I need to know you are serious. Quoting involves loads of work. Crazy slash silly quote request will be discarded. Is this real? What the fuck? This is their, oh my God. This place is still in business and real. I'm placing a real car order. Holy shit. What? He posts a video of a car crashing around a corner and says he'll lease it to you. This is amazing. Dare to free the penis. This is real. I will pay this man no less than 1 million great British pounds. Okay, there was a lot to look at with Ling's cars. A lot, but I have to move on. Otherwise it would be the rest of this video.
there is hours of content there. And I think it's legit. I'm fucking terrified for the people of London. More than I was before, but still. RRRGGGBBB.com. It's really, really not good at doing Robot Rock by Daft Punk. Dan.Church Broken.Website Sanger.DK Missing.Forever Is Xmas a Friday 13.now.sh? Is Christmas on a Friday the 13th? No, it's a fucking Monday. Good to know. PointerPointer.com Oh wait, we went there. That's already here. That's the greatest website ever made. I lied. I thought that was the greatest website ever made, but number one, this website loses like 50 points because they were reposted the same website. Number two, Pointer Pointer used to be the best website on the internet, hands down, number one, but Wings Cars, reigning champion in my heart and what I'm going to be talking about to my friends until they politely tell me to shut the fuck up. Metaphorsofinfinity.com. The irony is that the error for the webpage not being reachable seems to go on forever. Corgiorgy.com. I already know a few websites that could show you this, but okay. It's a fucking advertisement. And there's no gay porn anywhere. Boo! Boo this account! Boo! Unicode Snowman for you.com. <laughs> okay. I can ask. Uh, Opera GX's AI to explain this briefly. I don't think it can. Cameronsworld.net. Holy crap. Okay, you can't browse this website without having the fucking music on, and I really want to know what's going to pop up. I'm seeing some Star Trek, I'm seeing some Star Wars, some aliens, space theme. The Jewish star? I'm going to assume it's going to be a Star Trek theme, a Star Wars theme, or like some 90s MIDI techno. Nailed it. Take a wistful gaze into my celestial coffee cup. Oh my god, here's the fantasy realm. <laughs> I'm mostly laughing because I think this one is the one explicitly ripped from Duke Nukem 3D. Shake it, baby. I'm not getting the competency of Ling's cars on this one, but I am certainly getting the acid flashback of what the intended idea behind internet art used to be. Welcome, dear internet person, please enjoy at your own risk. Oh, don't worry, I'm not enjoying. Welcome to Rue's Playground. I clicked the fucking spooky dancing ghost and I got the hot kangaroo mom from Winnie the Pooh? Welcome to the Ricky Martin world. Click on the picture to enter. I'm gonna try. I mean, look at it, it's seen better days. Welcome to Terry's Place, where the beetles and the monkeys can be found all the time. Dude, you have the two that are dead? Cameron's world, yet another delicious orgy of content, yet we have to move on. Buzzybuzz.biz. I'm gonna hope this is a better website than bees, bees, bees dot fucking broken. So the, the little website title is B-A-B -B with, with the letters with periods after it. I think it's literal. I can't be this B. It's a fucking animated GIF in front of them. This is the worst B movie video game tie in I've ever played. Fast Cash Money Plus dot biz. Hottest ICO on the internet and exciting make, make fat. Oh God. Okay, join the fast cash money plus rev. Invest in the cryptocurrency everyone is talking about. Don't sit on the event. Get started now. I'm investing. I've read all these terms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Not a robot. I don't live in Uruguay. At least I think. Hang on. Uh, nope. Currently, I'm in South Sudan. That's not Uruguay. This is an actual currency. All right, I want the infinite amount because crypto is the wave of the future. It's definitely the wave of the future, for sure. GoatAttack.com Send 6, 13, or 30 ridiculous goat text messages to friends and family from random numbers is an awesome prank. Goat responsibly. This is actually a pretty comprehensive website. This is more just kind of goof. WarnerBrothers.com I know what's gonna happen. Yep, it's gone, and I'll tell you why. You see, I was a boy once. I was a small wee child, and now I was unlike most people because I came out of the womb immediately cutting down a tree for firewood with a slightly dull axe. I hit really hard. But I remember from my olden ye tiny boy days, the Space Jam movie website. Let me see if I can find it. Now, I believe WarnerBrothers.com used to redirect to this, and it's pretty much exactly how it used to look to promote the original Space Jam movie. You know that soulless cash-in of two giant media properties coming together just to kind of say they did? 
Not the other soulish cash grab of a ton of media properties coming together just to make sure that they could. Let's go to behind the jam. I'm gonna highlight this text so I can fucking read it. Go, I don't want the... Thank you very much for the helpful AI suggestions, Opera GX, but I don't need the... You're blocking? Oh boy. See early sketches of all new animated characters. I believe Lola Bunny was the only brand... No, the Monstars and whoever the fuck Danny DeVito was. Who the fuck was that? Who was that? Okay, all right, wait. Everyone, everyone take a fucking locomotion break on this freight train of fun. What is the name of Danny DeVito's evil space manager character without looking it up? Without looking it up, tell me what it is. Tell me if you know. Because there's no fucking way any human remembers this. Let's take a look. Blupkiss. <laughs> Nada. Null, Void, and Zilch. Actually, that's actually kind of fun names. I like that. But what, they don't even have the fucking Danny DeVito guy. These are the Monstars. And also, Nada's kind of hot. Lola Tilt's Bucket Back. Evolve. Was she wearing giant tit tank tops and sunglasses in that scene? I don't think so. Oh my god. Lola in a costume. Yeah, the costume for making my dick fucking shatter dimensions. Holy shit. Lola as pinup! They knew what they were doing. They explicitly knew what they're doing. There is a command center of the old guard of like secret boners from when you're a 90s kid like you got fucking rouge the bat you got renamon you got crystal from Star Fox. who who's the fucking hot bitch on the powerpuff girls miss bellum but like lola bunny in my eyes is like the, the fucking like trident carrying wizard master would i just combine like 60 and d terms it doesn't matter she's like the king kahuna of showing her kahunas in terms of, oh, I shouldn't masturbate to this, but my parents aren't home. They went to Peru on a fucking vacation, and I happen to be understanding what puberty is now. They knew what they were doing with this one. Fuck me. I would hope. Lola, if you were real, are you watching? Let's look up some uh, player bios. Oh my god. Charles Bar- there he is. In the name of the slam, the jam, and thank you, ma'am. There's our lord and savior. All right, again, Space Jam website. There's a lot. There's a lot of good stuff there. Maybe that should be its own video. There's a lot of good ones here, but we have to do this whole list. Hem Larsimil say. Every time I click, it makes one. Can I crash this? Well, that suck dick, but Wesley.so is not gonna suck dick. Yes, it will. Too spooky.surge.sh. Okay. They label the uh, the URL appended with DEFCONs for the level of spooky skeletons around. The end! Turbo.fish. A website dedicated to the Turbofish syntax from the Rust programming language. Okay. Random. <laughs> Wait a minute. Random. Random. Alright, that's like nothing. FNTB.RU. Okay, I think I accidentally accessed Russia's nuclear launch codes. Oh, look at this. Look at this compression on golf scores? Yeah, these are golf scores. This guy got a fucking four? Holy shit. But Simihab Kohaktanentin Creepery Bluch. Got a 150, that guy blows ass. Yo, you can be a beekeeper in Russia? I can literally just sign up to be a Russian beekeeper right now, but I have to learn to speak fluent Russian as well as read it, so I don't think I'll be doing that until next week after I acquire that skill. GiftCities.org. The GeoCities animated GIF searcher. G GIF Cities is a special project of the Internet Archive. Search. Okay. Um. Oh, you know what? You remember that, uh... That, like, super old one of the Stormtrooper pelvic thrusting you would see everywhere? Can we get that? The fucking flashing Comic Sans tells me I'm probably on the right track. What the fuck is this crap? Who's the top male celebrity according to this? Holy fucking shit. Kip Pardu fan site? Over 150 Kip Pardu pics? 
How could I lose? Let's go to Kip Heaven. Oh my god. Hey guys, the site is still in the process of moving in, so please be patient. But as you can see that this site will be on the talented actor Kip Pardu. So you can look forward to seeing lots of Kim, Kim, oh him, as the site progresses. Oh my god. What the fuck? What the f- Oh god. Biography. Let's read about a psychomaniac's biography of Kip- Oh, fuck me. Staggeringbeauty.com. This is just what I do after I'm done recording every night. This isn't interesting in any way. Oh! Oh god! Bury me with my money.com. Oh, oh, hey, oh, oh, oh! Oh. Marry me with my money. Fallingfalling.com. I don't know what that was, but I somehow know how to make atom bombs now. Partridge gets lucky. This doesn't bode well. I expected a lot more jacking off, but I'm not disappointed. Koalas to the max. Is this gonna... Oh, I see. So how long can I do this? Just... Oh, is it gonna make a little koala? Oh. Oh. Look at that. It's so cool. I'm vigorously rubbing at the screen to reveal the koala. Kind of like how the wildfires of Australia vigorously rub away at the land to take the koala out of hiding. The only difference is I can't affect a koala with my mouse, whereas if I were a wildfire, its dumb, stupid, stupid brain would immediately run towards me. Catbounce.com. Oh, fuck yeah. You pick up a cat, you throw a cat, and it fucking bounces up and down. You pick up a pussy, you launch a pussy, and it comes back over... Where'd it go? Where did it... Why does the pussy always leave me? ChrisMcKenzie.com. It's a happy little cube. And this is this is the whole website. It's a happy little cube, and that's the whole website. Oh, you get sad when your mouse leaves the fucking screen, and then when he comes, ah, oh, <laughs> he looks for you. He's the opposite of my stepdad. Endless.horse. This just keeps going forever. Is my computer on.com? Yes. Oh my God, he's right. I'm a ninja.com. Ah, <laughs> I found it. I found the ninja. That's what ninjas do. Whenever you look at them or like roll over them, they go, I'm a ninja. I am awesome.com. It's true. I can't argue with that. I've heard a lot of arguments, both semantic and qualified throughout my years, but a simple little text line saying that it's true in relevance to whether or not I am awesome is undisputable, undeniable proof of its existence. But either way, fuck you whoever made this. Whatdafuck.com. What's this about? I mean, like, I don't know, whatever. Yep, that's the limit of some people's creativity right there. Oh, this one's classic. This one is such a classic throwback. Zombo.com. I'm gonna just let this one play. If you've never seen this one before, it's been around for a long time, and it is... I think, like, Google and Facebook and Twitter could take some fucking notes from this one. Welcome to Zombo.com. This is Zombo.com. Welcome. This is ZomboCom. Welcome to ZomboCom. You can do anything at ZomboCom. Anything at all. The only limit is yourself. In case you were wondering, you can't do anything at ZomboCom. Pixelsfighting.com. Get them green. Get them purple. My daily dose. This is like a coin flip sim. So I just have to wait to see. Purple's winning. Oh, purple's winning. You know who's not winning? A valuable use of my time. Yeahlemons.com. If this is anything like lemonparty.com, I'm in for a treat. Yeah, lemons. Yeah, lemons. Yeah, lemons. Yeah, lemons. Yeah, lemons. I love everything about it, except they didn't use 25% of the screen real estate. That's a shitload of missed lemon potential. This website's a real lemon, huh? <laughs> Bruce Willis dot sexy. It's loading his sexiest pictures. They're coming in, downloading via broadband. Here they come, any second now. 
Fuck. Golful.app. Golf clap as a service. I'm impressed that you got the soundbite I might need for very specific scenarios. Could you not have hired more than three people to record it? rtr.hackedbygod.net All work in these pages sourced and compiled by Omslag, Sketchy, The Spoon Wizard, Mr. Pink, are you Rolo? That sounds like if Tony Hawk made a heist movie and gathered together his most average crew. All copyright is held by the individual authors, by a gallery. Oh, fuck yeah, here we go. 192 kilobytes of picture. This is by Mr. Pink. This kind of kicks ass, actually. I've seen this part of Star Wars. Luke, you've turned off your rendering processing. Is something the matter? Well... I'm just trusting the force, Uncle Ben. I know, but it looks like shit, Luke. RayPS.com. My name is Ray. I design and code. Welcome to my site. Graphic design is my passion. TerrorPigeon.us. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Oh god. And this guy's playing a show. Oh fuck. If you're in the Nashville, Tennessee area and you want more of this, you still have time. Pudim.com.br. That's a fucking donut and an email address. Tacospin.com. I can't fucking believe it was exactly what they said it would be and not something creative or interesting. BXYoung89.github.io. Whoa. What do you want to see in your life? Oh my God. I want to see my way into the mainframe. Dollar doll bills. <laughs> there we go. All right, we're going to we're going to skip the second to last one because I really want to end on it. I took a peek on it when I first found this website and I really like it a lot. So we're going to go to smellatron.com. Oh, it's a fragrance recommender. That's cool. Name one compliment getter. Um knowing full well you can beat a child in a fight. Okay. Easy enough. If you want to know full well that you can beat a child in a fight, you just gotta get Extra Men by Clive Christian. It's $148! I can beat up a child for free! And finally, Poolside FM. Well, I hope you enjoyed this look at what the internet used to be. Now, some of these were modern, ironic shit posts. Yeah. Some of these are intentional advertisements for things trying to be terrible, but a good handful of these websites stood the test of time and were completely accurate to what the internet used to be. Now just imagine if every single website looked and operated like those. Well, either way, I wanted to be more directly educational with this one. Normally I tell you things and summarize what I find and research in a good way, but sometimes you just have to learn with your own eyes. And I learned that although the internet as a tool is much better, the actual content's still the same crap we've been making for 30 years. Goodbye.